we're here at Pinellas Park High School. Uh, just got through with the practice, and to my right, obviously, uh, you don't need any introduction, but as the running back, Lawrence, Toa Philly, Lawrence, uh, just first off, I mean, just being back out at spring ball, what has that been like just for you as a senior? Man, it's just been, you know, a blessing. You know, I'm happy to be out here. You know, I was excited to get back in the pads and stuff, because, you know, we was doing the seven on seven, no helmets and no contact, you know, it was boring. Yeah, but you love physicality, don't you? For sure. That's, that's, that's why. Thing. That's why I like football. Because <laughs> you, I mean, just watching the way you run through, through tackles or just absorb tackles. Have you always been like that, or has it kind of grown on you as you've gotten bigger? Really, it's always been like, for me, I avoid contact as much as I could. Mm -hmm. But when I have to, uh, I, I can like, you know, I'm strong enough to like take it and give it, basically. Now, I've, I've obviously watched a lot of your film, and you know, as I told you when you were talking, you know, your running style is kind of unique. Uh, you mentioned Le'Veon Bell. It's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking about. But uh, what do you what, describe your your skills as a running back? What do you feel you do well at, uh, as far as a bat? I feel like I have like good vision, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm good at getting upfield like quick. So like the one cut plants, and you know, getting upfield, that's like one of my strengths. But also, I'm like, I feel like I have an advantage when I'm in open field. That's when I feel like I'm at my, like, like it's harder, it's the hardest to get me when I'm in open field. Hey, dogs on three, dogs on three, one, two, three, dogs. Hey, swing this. Hey, hit. Oh. Settle, settle, settle. Oh. Get out of here. Settle, settle, settle. Get on the same level. What, what does he tell you, you know, I mean, first of all, what was your reaction to when he committed to FSU? And secondly, just, I mean, just uh, what did he tell you as far as right after that? Because he said he was going to come after you. He even tagged you on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> really, really caught me by surprise because I didn't know where he was going. I had no idea. So okay. when I watched his live video, it was, a, um, it was a, like surprising to me. So it was cool. But as soon as he, soon as he did it, it was coming Seconds. from me. He was already coming from me. <laughs> I seen it. I was tagged in some articles <laughs> yeah. and all this other stuff. What does he tell you about FSU? He just, everything, you know, he tells me how, like, it's, it's cool up there and he likes it up there. And I felt the same way, I feel the same way, so, like, he, he knows I feel the same way, so he's just trying to make, make me make it official, so, <laughs> okay. you know. But we'll oh. see, we, we, I, I gotta chill, you know, I'm gonna take it slow. You visited once in the spring, you watched the practice now, you told me you haven't seen the full full go of the stuff and then you told me you're itching to get over there to watch this because you're hearing all this stuff about it's fast and all mm -hmm. that stuff but what did you see I guess when you were over there at practice did you get a chance to talk with the new some of the new coaches or who did you talk with? Oh I talked with um all the coaches really I talked with Willie Tiger, um, Coach Woody, Coach Pimpleton you know all good dudes they were talking to me um did they have Coach Browse there at that point when you were visiting? Yes, sir. Yep. What, what did he? What did you see out of him? Oh, he's he's a cool dude, man. He he has a lot of energy and uh, and I like the way he um conducts the offense and stuff. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be pretty cool to watch him next year. How will that change stuff if you, if they are as fast and and effective and you all these like these Big Twelve teams? I mean, how is that gonna change your kind of vibe about FSU? I mean, it's gonna make it even stronger. You know, I mean, <laughs> well, you can't beat like you know if you're getting better. It's always a good thing, so. What do you want to see on the officials? I just want to see, like, the way the players are, the way the coaching is, how the program is, and, you know, ask, ask a lot of questions about academics and all that good stuff. It seems to me, you can correct me, on these official visits, you also want to see what the offenses are looking like. For you sure. Know, or what, what your fit is compared to each one. What are you going to look for on the offenses? Do you, do you um, prefer something fast, or, do you, um, or do, does it have to be a civic offense? It doesn't, like, really, I, I can adapt easy, mm -hmm. I feel like, to any offense. And uh, when I look for offenses, I really look how, like, what's their blocking scheme and how the linemen are looking and all that type of stuff, because that's what's really going to determine, like, how my play is going to be. How involved is your family going to be in the decision? My family, we always been, like, together, so okay. it's like, my decision, they're gonna help make my decision because like I know they, they always like like wanted the best for me and I know like they're never gonna lead me wrong. But I'm also gonna make sure I, like that's what I wanna do because I'm gonna have to live there for the next four years. So. The times you've been to FSU, what's the atmosphere like? It's just like very 
I guess it's just a cool place. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like anybody really could, like, fit in there. Yeah. It's like, it is for everybody, really. And it's cool. What's the crowds like? Oh, they're wild. <laughs> Diehard fans. Oh, okay. I remember one time I went to uh, the FSU in Miami game, and the Miami uh, fan came in the FSU section, escorted them out. <laughs> Couldn't be over there. They can't let them in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they don't play like that. They don't even sell Gatorade. So. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, that's how I go. So. What um, what do you need to see from FSU the next time you go over there? What is something that maybe you're looking for that you haven't seen from FSU yet? Really, I still haven't seen their um their offense. Really, that's okay. that's what I'm mainly focusing on. Like okay. Up there to see, so that should be cool. Now, when I was in Jacksonville, Jeff Sims specifically mention your name yeah. a lot. Jeff's like kind of the bell cow for them. Mm -hmm. What is Jeff like? He's a cool dude, man. That dude is all about FSU, though. No, <laughs> just know that. All about FSU. They have this big group chats. Are, are you ever in those chats that they have? Or? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I know they probably gonna add me <laughs> one time, though. 